Hey guys, I'm excited to bring to you a very simple pasta dish that you're going to love. It takes just a couple of fresh ingredients, a blender, and a pan, and we can have this on the table in less than 30 minutes. And like I said, like I've already said, like I said, like I said, it's extremely easy. So, let's get to cooking. Alright, we're going to need just a few things to get started here. I've got my olive oil, I've got my pasta, I'm using fettuccine today. I've got some chopped up mushrooms, just because I don't want to use as much meat. It's about half a pound or less, actually. Fresh parsley, chicken stock, red wine seasoning, blender. Got three nice fresh tomatoes. I've got some onion, I've got a roasted red bell pepper, some couple cloves of garlic, and I just had some spinach in the fridge, so I'm going to use it. And I've got a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You use as much as you want. I'm not using much. Just try to cut a few calories in a can. So, first thing first. I'm going to get my pan going. Put about a teaspoon of olive oil in. And in goes my meat. And my mushrooms. Oh, get out of there, mushrooms. Okay, I'm going to let these start browning up and then we'll start on the next part which involves power tools, I mean the blender. Money saving food tip number one. As you get your parsley, because you know fresh herbs are not cheap, I'm going to take the stems and cut them off and we'll use, oh, look, there's some more stems. Okay, we'll use this as garnish a little bit later because it also adds a nice lemony fresh flavor to our food. But these right here are still good. They're useful. Look, they're bending. They're not tough stuff. So let's use them when we make our sauce now. Okay, so you're gonna love how easy this is. We just kind of dump and go. So into my blender, our celery, or celery, our parsley stems, our tomatoes. See how easy this is? There's our tomatoes. Like I said, I had this little bit of spinach. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. In goes the onion, my whole roasted red bell pepper, my two cloves of garlic, all that nice juice. I'm gonna throw in my chicken stock, chicken broth, whatever you got. Use water if you want to. Little bit of red wine. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just add that much more red wine. Okay, now we're gonna throw in some seasoning. Um, I've got some uh, ground cayenne pepper. Put as much or as little as you like. I'm gonna use a couple of fennel seeds. To me, this is what really helps. Uh, half a teaspoon or so. Remember, you can't, it's, it's hard to go back and add these type of seasonings after it's done cooked. And I have some dried basil, okay? Put as much or as little as you like. I'm putting about a whole teaspoon of dried basil. Now the dried stuff is extremely potent, so be careful, okay? Okay, our meat is still browning up. It's nearly browned already. So now let's whirl this up and make our sauce. And just like that, we have made one of the easiest tomato sauces ever. It's got roasted red peppers in it. It's got garlic. It's got parsley. It's got basil. It's got fennel seed. It's got some spinach in there just because I had it in the fridge. Okay, we're going to use this here in just a second. But as you can also see, I have some salted water coming to a boil for our pasta. Now, I'm not going to do the pasta, which is this great fresh fettuccine because this will literally take four minutes to cook. Now if you're using the um, already dry stuff, it'll take about eight minutes. So don't use that until all of this is done. Okay, I'm just going to take a few, about 45 more seconds to wait on this meat to brown up and we'll start to the next step. I know it's cliche, but this smells really good. And I'm, of course I'm using beef in this if you could use pork. Don't have pork, don't have beef, don't worry about it. Make it vegetarian, you use tofu. Um, don't have mushrooms, that's okay too. Add some zucchini in there, just make sure that most of the moisture is not good. As you can see, the mushrooms have soaked up all of the juices from that beef. 
And again, there's not much in here, so this is healthy. And this is for, you can serve about three or four people with this, or just two really hungry people, or just one really starving person. Or, be like me, and eat it for three or four meals, because you can have it for lunch the next day, dinner the next day, and you're getting all these great vitamins and stuff, because you're getting stuff, you know, there's chlorophyll, and parsley, and spinach. There is lycopene in the tomatoes, vitamin C is in the bell pepper that we're eating, of course there's calcium in the cheese, all kinds of this great vitamins. And so far I've used a teaspoon of olive oil, which has got the good fats in it, like omega-3s. So we're doing an awesome thing. Okay, this is cooked up here, right? Good, brown, yummy. Okay, got my sauce here, in it goes. This just goes straight to the dishwasher. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat down to a medium low, and we're just gonna let this cook. We're gonna let this is gonna turn to a nice deep dark red after about 10 minutes of slow gurgling cooking stuff. Okay, cooking. Is that a good word? Also, at this point, we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. I got my sea salt here, pepper, because I'm too lazy to twist it. Actually, my mother and father got this for me for uh, Christmas. They got me a salt one too, but... Nice load of pepper in there, I like pepper. Again, mixing that up, getting all those juices to go in. Ah. Okay, you can smell the red wine, but that's going to be cooking out. And you're only going to be less left with 5% of the original concentration of alcohol in the red wine. So don't worry about it if you're going to be giving this to kids or anything like that, or you're worried about breathalyzer test. Don't worry about it. Eat it. Okay, so let's let this go. I'll be back in about 5 to 10 minutes, and we'll take a look at it. Okay, 10 minutes is up, and it has really reduced. It has gotten a lot thicker got a lot darker and I also just tasted it off camera. Let me show you. Look how good that looks. My water is about to come to a boil. So, but I, since I said I tasted it off camera, I know it needs more salt. Because we're nearly done with this, okay? Everything in here is completely cooked through. All the flavors have been released thanks to the basil and the parsley and the garlic that we put in there. Water's boiling, so let me put my camera back down. Kind of crooked. Sorry, tripod's not wanting to work. Okay. Salted water. Touch of olive oil. This helps keep the pasta from sticking. In goes my pasta. Jizz it around. Get everything nice and coated. Okay. Set your timer three minutes. And this will be done too in three minutes. Okay. All right, it's been about three minutes and it's time to really start getting this going to the table in about 45 more seconds, okay? Turning the heat off of everything, okay? You can see I've mowed through my parsley tops here. They're ready to go. Not gonna strain my pasta because there is starch on the outside of these noodles, okay? I'm gonna do this right here. It goes right into the pasta sauce. It's gonna soak up those great juices. Mm -hmm. And it goes, being careful not to burn myself. I love, love fresh pasta. So much better then the dried stuff, don't get me wrong, any pasta is good, but, okay. Now, I'm going to take half of this Parmesan cheese and it goes right on. It's going to help the sauce stick. Toss it in. Meat. The tomatoes have reduced down. They're just this great 
syrupy, stick to your bones kind of food. But it's healthy, remember? Okay. It's not a start up that I'd like it to be. It's kind of awkward doing the tongs, but that's okay. Okay. That's it. There's plenty of here for well, this would be a great date movie, uh, date food. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna plate this up. Okay, we're gonna try to do it the fancy way. So take you some, and give it a twist. Right into the center of a plate. Twist as you do it. Okay? A little bit more, I believe. I've got to put a picture of this on Instagram, of course. Ooh, that's a lot, huh? Someone's going to get full. Oh, got that on. Extra, extra, extra sauce. Because that's the best part. Sauce is on. We're going to hit it with a touch of finishing olive oil, which I use it for everything. For the rest of the parm. Everyone loves parm. And your chopped parsley right on top. Okay, we made an awesome deal dish. I did it up, dirtied up. <laughs> I dirtied up just a few dishes, a blender, a cutting board, um, a pan with water in it because I boiled the pasta, and of course my big pan that I cooked everything in. And look what you get. Who, like I said, if you wanted to impress someone, this right here will do it. It tastes amazing. And if you, again, you might want to put a little touch of your finishing salt on or just some regular salt dig in you're gonna love it this will stick to your bones and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the foodiewithin.com for these great easy nutritious meals that I make for you